Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you right quick about the story about me and Candyman. Who is Candyman? The I young, this young guy. I was in the cusp area, guys. I was, I had decided I wasn't going to be messing with women no more, but I was going to open my heart to dating young dudes, you know? And <clears throat> But after this situation, I had put them young dudes on pause. You hear me? Pause. Until like now, right now, I'm dating like somebody. One dude is like 25, one dude is like 35, so... My heart is open. So anyway, me and the guy had talked. He had already said to me, hey, Nate, look, I have a past. I used to, you know, I, I used to sell drugs. You know, I used to smoke dippers, you know, um, meaning PCP, but I'm on a straight and narrow now. I'm fine now. You don't really have no problems with me. Boo, boo, boo. He was like, you know, I used to smoke um, dippers and um, sell Dippers. Dippers mean the child they take the little cigarette and get the little vanilla bottle or whatever it's in. I don't know what it's in. I don't I don't know a Barbie cup. I don't know. But they take it and they dip it in the, the thing and then and then and I don't I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't smoke that shit. I don't and anyway, know. and then they keep you like high for twenty four hours, like who in the frig wants to be high for twenty four hours? Like wh like who wants to be high that long? Like re like really. Like, really, like, I don't even like to be drunk for 15 minutes. You feel me? I don't even want to be, like, I don't like none of that. I just want to just, I don't know. I want to go to sleep. I don't want to be up all night long looking at people's face, taking my clothes off, taking my clothes off, running around with a daggone fur coat, some flip-flops, a guitar case, you know, two pistols and a machine gun. And, and and a pet rat. I don't want to run around with all that stuff on me. You know, that's what they do. In 90 degree weather. You feel I, that thing is off the chain. PCP is taking... Man, save us. Save us in the DMV. Save us. Somebody, somebody, please. Pray for us. Um, so anyway, getting back to the story. I said, okay. I accepted him for, you know, telling me the truth. Now, the guy also, if I didn't already mention, but the guy, you know, was like, that was when I was much younger. You know... <clears throat> I'm 28 now. I'm not making the same mistakes. You know, I have a job now, Nay. You know, just give me a chance. And I said, okay. But the guy was not exceptional. He was a reformed or changed street dude that um, that I was given a chance. Oh, okay. um, the fact of the matter is, now, like I said, if I mess with somebody younger, oh, they're going to be exceptional. You feel me? Oh, that 25-year-old is exceptional. That 35-year-old is exceptional. You feel me? They ain't regular motherfuckers. That dude, oh, no. That dude, I can go out on the street on the curb and pick him up. Child, I ain't know no better. I did not know no better. Help me, Joe. I'm going to pray for this one forever. And the that's first like thing that kind of made me think, oh, he, this one is going to be a problem, was that he, um, I, he asked me, baby, what are you doing today? I said, okay, my girlfriend having a, a party now, Sweet Mangoes, so I'm going to go. He popped up and now my girlfriend and I, I wasn't expecting him, you know, to me, it was sweet. You know, it was very, very sweet. But then when I look at it later, I'm like, oh my God, that ninja was foreshadowing. He was foreshadowing. But he just popped up and gave me a kiss on the cheek. And you know, my friends ain't like him. They thought he was old, dirty little boy from around the way. Cause he counted it like Meek Mill, you know, but they was like, uh, nay. Where do you know him from? And wiping it off my face in front of the dude, it was hilarious, child. It was, I said, don't hurt his feelings. Don't hurt his feelings like that, child. They was like, ugh, don't talk to him. I don't so, like him. Um, so, at any rate, um, we would, I think he would come past and see me like just about every day or every other day or, or something like that, right? So, we were in a good place. Now, while we were in a good place for like, I want to say the begin, the, the whole beginning of the summer, we were in a good place. My cousin was like, Nene, I need you to ride with me somewhere because I'm getting ready to go to my dude shop. Now, at um, his shop, his daughter was working there. His daughter was a girl that uh, Candyman used to mess with. And she was like, Nene, are you messing with um, Candyman? I was like, yeah, if that's what you want to call it. That's not my man, but we mess with each other, you know? And she was like, um, she was like, oh, you know about him, right? And I was like, what you talking about? 
So she basically hit me, you know, hit me with the, um, yeah, you know he still be smoking them dippers, right? But I'm looking at her like, bitch, you smoke dippers. What are you talking about? Bitch, y'all probably smoking together. Matter of fact, when he leave my house, he probably go to your house and smoke it with you. You probably got it at your house, girl. What you talking about? He probably, you know, trick you with so I'm not fitting to, I'm not fitting to pay no attention to a girl that he used to mess with. You know what I'm saying? So what I did was I didn't pay it no mind, but I kept it. Summer mind. started ending, and I started getting phone calls from people calling me talking about some. Leave me and my family alone. I said, who the who the f is your family? I don't know nothing about what you're talking about because according to the young dude, he ain't had no kids at all. You feel me or no, no? Cause you saying family? That seemed to me like you got kids. You got children. That's what you're telling me. So I'm like, he told me he ain't had no kids. The at dude, all. um, just out of the blue, just randomly, I couldn't find him. I I didn't talk to him. I couldn't find him. I um. I couldn't talk. And then I'd say like two days went past. I called him. I'd be like, what's going on? You ain't picked up the phone? Did I do something to you to piss you, piss you off? He was like, nah. Let me call you back. That joint. The, pro the thing is with me, if you don't like me no more, then I won't like you. And my thing is, you, I give everybody a time period. Everybody has a time period. Like if I think you ain't feeling me no more... Then I'll give you, okay, I'll give you a month, maybe two months to get yourself together. i call you, check on you. Hey, baby, you know, are you fine? Are you okay? Because sometimes people be going through little episodes or something they need to get themselves, especially men. Y'all be tripping. Y'all be going in y'all little secret place in heaven or, or, or I don't know, in your mama's basement. I don't know. And then one day the dude just showed up at my door with a big knot on his head. I said, what the? I said, I'm sorry, what are you doing here? He was like, nah, I just need to chill over here. I need some help. Now with a knot on your head. No, ma'am. No, ham. Now with no knot on your head. You messed up. He was like, well, I got dropped off over here. I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, you can sleep on the couch because you ain't sleeping in my bed because you done pissed me off. You done been missing. I ain't talked to you in a couple of weeks. Now you pop up my house with a knot on your head. You tripping. So then the, he wakes up in the morning. He tells me, you know, I say to him, so you want to talk to me about that, that, uh, you know, bowling ball sitting on your head. You want to talk to me about that? Is that what you going to do? He was like, yeah, I went over to my cousin house and I got in a fight with her boyfriend. What cousin, Candyman? What cousin? Uh, you don't know this cousin. This cousin on my, I don't know, my Aunt Louise side. I said, mm-hmm. And I'm looking at him. I said, where'd your cousin live at? He said, Lee Joy Park. I said, Lee Joy Park? Why would you even go down there? That's not your friggin' hood, fool. He was like, yeah, you know, we got in and, and, and his mans, his mans robbed me. What? And I had already knew I had already knew the game. I knew the game. The game was, well, no, let me back it up. He said he went to the go-go. His cousin called him after the go-go. And she said that her boyfriend was tripping. He went down there. He went down there to, I guess, go help her cousin, his cousin out. What happened was he was in a go-go. Him and his mans met some girls. The girls was like, uh, yeah, we live in um Lee Joy Park. Won't you come find won't you come down there after the club or after the go-go? Why would your cousin, somebody from your family that loves you, would invite you to come down to Lee Joy Park? And you know that's not your hood. Because and them dum dums. After the go-go, when the girl said, meet me at Lee Troy Park, here go my address. I live on the top floor in an apartment. I don't know, 3,062. I don't know. But when they knocked on the door and the dude didn't answer, and when they came downstairs, guess who was waiting on them? The sticker boys. And they stuck their asses You're up. Stu you stupid now. You telling me you stupid. You don't have enough sense to know that you don't meet a girl in a go-go and then a girl tell you come to her house. Then you don't know to go to another hood without your pistol, 
You don't know this? This ain't your hood. You don't belong here. And you there without a pistol? What, what you doing? You thought you was going to leave your apartment to get some pussy. At. And what you got was stuck up. DC say he been smoking PCP for about, he been tested positive for PCP for about four she months. She said, and they, how old you say he was? I said about 28, 29, something like that. She said, mm-mm. Mm-mm. He like 21. That's how old he is, about 21. I said, what? Oh my God, I feel slack. And then the catastrophe hit when I just decided, I just was like, no, I'm going to let this go. I'm, I'm going to leave it alone because I didn't gave you your two months of not, you know, of doing what it is you was doing and you still acting crazy on me. It got to a point where just out of the blue, he decided he wanted to be, to mess back with me out of the freaking blue. He would pop up at my job. I would walk out the door. I would be like, what the fuck are you doing here? What are you doing here? And he would be like, Nay, stop playing with me. You want to stop effing with me. And I'd be like, what? I haven't seen you in like two goddamn months. What are you talking about? He was like, Nay, you know I love you. Stop effing with me. I said, candy man. Do you know you at my job, Candy Man? What is wrong with you? And he was like, Man, Nay, I need to talk to you. I'm trying to get, you know, I'm trying to get back with you. I said, Candy Man, I'm sorry. I gave you all the opportunity to get yourself together, but you didn't do it. I I mean, literally, guys, y'all, I gave him like two or three months where I couldn't even find I wasn't even talking to nobody else. And I just gave him a few months to get himself together and he still wouldn't do it. Y'all, he started popping up to places like where if I was partying, it would be so bad. And he'd be like, and you know, I'd be like, man, I got to leave. My girlfriends would be like, nay, you just got here. I'm like, man, Candyman in here. I got to leave. I can't, I, I can't deal with this. I can't be here with him in here. They'd be like, girl, he ain't going to do nothing. What the fuck? What do you mean? This dude smoke dippers. Dip, dip, they smoke dippers. You know them dipper smokers be lunching? What is wrong with you, girl? I got to go. I got to go. I can't get I, I, but His job had called me and was like, uh, yeah, Candyman asked me to call you and tell you that he was going to the hospital. I said, okay. You got somebody calling my phone, talking about leave my family alone, and that they your baby mother, that person need to go to the hospital with you. Not me, because I'm not finna go to nobody's. I mean, I wasn't going to do it anyway. But you get your job to call me and say... You know, Candyman's in the hospital. He needs you to, he said he wants you to be there, you know. And the way they made it seem like he was dying. He said, this wasn't dying. He wasn't dying. He was dying to wrap his hands around my neck. That's what he was dying to I do. I was so happy that the young, that Candyman had got locked up. I was like, good, I'm going to be free for as long as he locked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be free. Man, I don't know what in the frig, but that dude popped up at my door. This is how sneaky he was, guys. This is how crazy it was. He stood to the side. So when he knocked on the door, he stood to the side. So when I looked out the peephole, I didn't see him. But I was getting packages delivered. So I opened the door. I opened the door to see if I had a package. I looked down. When I looked up, it was that mother sucker right there. But then it got to a point where I was like, you know what? I even got, I changed, I even changed locations. I stayed at the same job, but I changed locations. So I was like, this ninja keep popping up in my friend. I can't job. do this. This is crazy. He got a, uh, 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 he, he back in them streets. He smoking them dippers. I told y'all, I, 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 I can't do it, man. I, I was, I was nervous. And I know people was like, Nate, why you didn't follow a restraining order? Because he was not consistent like he would do like a strange pop up like once a year so you never know when it was going to happen like if I go to the judge be like your honor yeah this dude be popping up randomly on me like every you know yeah I don't know what the fuck to do I don't know it really it, it was rough for me so because of him candy man that's why I held off on dating a young dude
deuce.